Wait, what is happening? We're going to record a promo we're right now. We're going to record an advert. We're going to record <laughs> okay. an advert. Hi, we're the D&D <laughs> show. The, the Dungeons and Dragons. No, <laughs> yeah, something else is going. Job done. We are a Dungeon Dragons actual play podcast. Though sometimes we don't play Dungeon Dragons. Sometimes we play other games like Call of Cthulhu. That's about all we've done so far. That, scratch that, <laughs> take four. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a dickhead. You're a dickhead. <laughs> Hi, my name's Luke. I'm the host of a podcast called The Dice and Dice Show. What do you do? Well, largely we just play D and D, Dungeons and Dragons, but sometimes some other stuff too. We also talk shit for half an hour, talking about films, m- uh, movies. They're the same as films, really. <laughs> but yeah, we talk about Dun- we, we play Dungeons and Dragons. It's an actual play podcast. If that's your thing, then check us out. The Dice and Dice Show, D and D Show. Give us a listen. See what you think. Boom. That is one of the most sure confusing I can... I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Welcome to Diacast, proudly sponsored by Oxygen. Here at Diacast, our group of six social climbers play different RPGs, bringing you a new game and system every few weeks. This week we're finishing up our fantabulous game of Havoc Brigade. And we end with a bang. My name's Luki, and this week's question is, who is your least favourite prince? And mine is Hans from Frozen. Hey, I'm Matt, and my least favourite prince is... Oh, I can't remember his name. Can anyone remember the name of the prince from The Princess Bride? God damn it, that was my one. Humperdink. Humperdink! Ah. Humperdink, of course it is. Princess Buttercup, him. Mm-hmm. I'm Jacob, and my least favourite prince is Achilles, just because the guy did not chill. My God. No, yeah, he had zero chill. No chill Absolutely whatsoever. zero chill. What the fuck was he doing? Boyfriend died, and he killed so many people that it clogged the river, and the river stood up and said, Oi, do you mind? And so he fought the river. Honestly, that's <laughs> a mood. And beat the river, if I remember yep, right. Yep, he beat the river. Hello there, my name is Peter, and uh, this might be a bit of a technicality, and I don't want to get at it by uh, mythology people, but uh, I'm going to say Theseus is my least favourite prince, because he became a king, and I'm pretty sure he had to be a prince first, and I'm, I'm not a... Yeah, his, dad, his dad, dad was the king, king of Athens. Athens. It's tradition with princes. Oh, I'll take that. I liked him even after Before his he sold out. Tour. Yeah, he sold out terribly and became awful. Didn't he leave... What's her face? Yeah, he, let, he, yeah. he left his girlfriend. He left his girlfriend on a rock. On Arachne, not Ariadne. No, it was Ariadne. It's it was Ariadne. Ariadne. Yeah, was yeah Ariadne. no, Arachne gets Arachne turned Arachne into a spider. Arachne was the one who was turned, a weaver. Yeah, turned into a spider. Oh, of course she was. Sorry. Right. And and he, he and he didn't even remember the simple guidelines about putting up sails. Yeah, he literally no. his dad like killed himself <laughs> because he hadn't put some sails up. He also oh, tried okay. to rescue Persephone from the underworld. That did not go well. I never no, heard did that not. one. Yeah, he ended up stuck in a chair for a long time. Exactly. Yes. I don't want been anyone longer. to rescue me from my weird goth husband and my many-headed dog. I would be happy. <laughs> Hi, my name's Helen, and my least favourite prince is the prince from the original Princess and the Frog, because she loses her ball, she just wants it back, and he's like, you have to kiss me, and that's frankly harassment. He should just it return is. her property. Good answer. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. good answer. Helen would be really funny in a fairy tale. <laughs> Give me a kiss. That is harassment. I will sue. I will report you. You're coming with me. Hi, I'm H. And I can't think of any princes, so I googled princes. And apparently Bambi counts as a prince, but I feel really bad saying he's my least favourite because he's a tiny baby deer. Oh, what about Scar? Uh, I've not seen The Lion King. Don't kill me. What? I know. And now it's too late for them to see it. They refuse. They won't have the same impact anyway. (sighs) No. It's pretty good. (laughs) I know that's a cliche opinion, but it is a pretty good film. Why is Bambi a prince, though? He's a deer. His is he dad the son, is the... No, he's the son of he's, the king of the yeah. forest, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Is he? I've also maybe is not seen Bambi. <laughs> I've only seen it once. <laughs> it was like my favourite film for a while, even though um, mum could never watch it through uh, the mum's death scene. Aww. Would you say it's uh, very dear to you? Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, H, do you need help coming up for a prince? Oh, doesn't that count? Yeah. Uh, no, I quite like that answer. That's a fair answer. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, after that princely introduction, I think we're ready for a finale. Let's get to it. Um, I hope and then, yeah. Parsnip. Um, so everyone grab onto something, be it a parsnip or something else. <laughs> Two of the goblins just grab onto each other. 
Oh. Oh. Petunia and Tiny Tim just like hold each other like oh. like freaking crash zooms on everybody's faces and then oh. the uh, the boat is going to just smash into the stone wall uh, like just before it smashes in wrench is going to just gently tip the steering wheel to the left just because he notices a slightly weaker spot in the wall mm-hmm. so like at the last second he steers it just a little to the left to make sure he hits the right spot and it just kind of punches through the front of the boat kind of buckles right round so it's damn near knackered but it does just punch a hole in the wall and like stones go everywhere. A couple of archers go flying into the drink. And, and yeah. <laughs> the drink. Yeah. And is the, bo- is the boat just kind of stuck in the wall? Like, yeah, so the boat uh, is uh, like... Go, I'm going to take over here and say oh. that the... Um, I sa- and say that um, the... Uh, yeah, the boat punches... The boat punches through... I think that there is a yes. This is what happens. We uh, from the other side. We have a assembling like a busy um, before like assembly before a party scene. There's like guests are arriving. <laughs> I've forgotten we were. Pa- we've literally crashed the party. Sorry, I've, 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 <laughs> like... the, yeah. But uh, apart, yeah, yeah. So people, are, guests are arriving. There are various like supplies being unloaded. There are supplies being unloaded. Um, like the 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 uh, like the steward and the chamberlain are haranguing assorted harried-looking party planners. Um, the bouncy castle is going up. Um, that's of course what you have at a coronation. Um, and um, the uh, yeah, then there's this suddenly just as. And the wall goes, uh, and the wall, um, uh, the wall caves inwards. There are various areas. There is a Wilhelm scream as various archers go flying. The boat sails. Uh, I want the word I want to use is no visible trajectory. <laughs> and the um, just across this outer courtyard, scattering degri- debris and rubble doesn't even touch. Uh, no, I think it tennis style. It skips once off the off the cobblestones. <laughs> Before, the whole boat. Yep, the whole boat punches once off the cobblestones. The wheels go, f- the outer wheels go flying. By the way, and mm-hmm. embed themselves in um, one of them. Imbe- one of them passes through a giant fondue cake. So there is now a wheel of molten cheese crashing, crashing across the courtyard. Um, and it's going to roll around in circles. It'll be back later. Absolutely. <laughs> um, the other, we'll the, be back the, for it. Uh, the other, the other one splinters out perfectly, so there is now like just a ladder laid openly across the courtyard. Um, no, and... it's going up a tower. Yeah, it's like... uh, yeah. There's a ladder up a tower, <laughs> and the boat, um, yeah, the boat kind of tumbles through a. There, there's basically a 15 foot high um, wall of like uh, like a topiary hedge wall <laughs> on the other side of the courtyard, and the boat just. <laughs> Through that, and there's dim, there's the dim sound of more um, horticultural distress as the boat goes. <laughs> um, the um, there is a moment of silence, and a round of scattered applause from the guests who assume that was part of pre-party entertainment. <laughs> Wrench can't help but I've, bow. When uh, you, like you, you're, oh, you're still, like... you're still, you are still, you are still at a ballistic trajectory on the other side of the, um, on, on the other side oh, of the yeah, edge. I'm just getting to that. Like oh, yeah, you're right. Zooming through different like tableaus. Of like different things. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, the um, the I, I think house. the command. I believe. Uh, I think that the uh, like the commander of the guard start like opens his uh, opens it opens his <laughs> mouth to start um, like loudly ordering various soldiers into the breach to to track you down. But the stu- the, the the cunning vizier uh, puts a hand on their arm and goes no. And goes. No need to disturb the guests just yet. Let them enjoy. Let them enjoy the party. The beast of the castle. No, the hat. beast. The beast of the castle gardens will deal with them. Um, we then oh. cut to the experience of the boat, which, as you said, is various tableaus. Um, let, name. Can I get one? Th- uh, can I get from the lot of you? Can I get three th- three tableaus that the boat bounces through before coming to a rest? <laughs> Sorry, I just. The Beast of the Castle Gardens. We'll <laughs> this, that's a secret tool. That's a secret plot device that will help us later. Um, <laughs> I think Patience. we go through, like, we somehow go through, like, the Dowager Queen's dressing room. Um, 
Even though that makes no sense from an architectural I standpoint. Feel like, no, I, feel, I feel like it's in like a summer portico of some kind. Fine. <laughs> we go through the Dowager Queen's summer portico. <laughs> where she and her ladies are just starting to process. And we just go through them and they all scream and I steal a hat. Fantastic. There's a, a, a petting farm for the guests and we just crash right through it and end up with like a bunch of chickens just like in the boat and like a little lamb it's like ah. fantastic i love it i'd like to I'd mind similar kind of thing we're also going to crash through um the party tent and we're going to pick up the minstrels who continue playing as if nothing has happened <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah okay you guys are, uh you guys finally slide to a halt kind of crosswise against the um and bump into a solid object the various lambs and chickens and um and and, uh stray petticoats kind of flutter down and make themselves scarce um i was gonna say as as we went through the queen and her ladies maids one of the goblins ended up in one of their dresses i don't know how Absolutely. One of the goblins is now wearing a beautiful <laughs> ball gown. It's about like one of those five conical times hat things. too large for them. It's about five yeah. times their size, sorry. A beautiful ball gown and somehow got engaged in the process. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. I, I said, yeah, you, you end up in a ball gown on one knee looking very smug. And yeah. the... <laughs> Snot is now Countess Snot and has landed holdings. <laughs> uh, no, no, excuse me. Snot is, Snot is taken. Bang oh, is now been... Countess Bang ah. and has landed holdings. By <laughs> whom is Snot <laughs> taken? Uh, Serena. Gobbit. Yeah, Snot's flirting with Serena. Oh. Remember, there's it... so many. There's goblet, so many goblet, goblin romances. Goblet is married. Snot is Snot is get Snot is getting lucky later tonight. And um, and Bang is Countess. God, Lukey, keep up. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Remember, it's <laughs> just like Beyonce said. If you like it, then you got to fire a goblin at it at high velocity. <laughs> if you want to be my lover, you've got to remember the names of all these fucking goblins. That is not Beyonce. That was TLC, I'm pretty sure. That was the Spice, uh, the Spice Girls, Girls. Doll. How young are you? What the fuck? Very Go and re-educate yourself. Okay, anyhow, as you are having this argument, the camera pans out to a... Um... No, it was the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> the, ca- the camera pans out to Britney. a um, <laughs> camera pans out to a very quiet scene. You have fetched up at the root of a massive tree, and uh, with with great big kind of great oak kind of aesthetic, uh, boughs spreading uh, boughs spreading out, providing this like this this this. You've got this dim kind of twilight aesthetic. This is a cultivated garden, but it's been cultivated to look wild. Damn it, we've arrived in Shoreditch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the rest of the palace seems like just a world away. I would like to conserve momentum when yes. stopping. I would like to leap off and and land in a somewhat three-point landing, brandishing my dirty great big knife and looking out <laughs> for a danger that I know wilds away in these woods, the cream tea. <gasps> <laughs> The tea heard, shop the and the bookshop. I have heard yeah. about people here getting the cream tea. I do not know if they ever come back alive. Fantastic. Um, we must yes, be wary. with that, I think there is just the faintest of deep growls. Goblet the cream climbs tea. back up onto wrenches. Sorry, uh, that was my shoulders. stomach. I will get, a, a, I will get a, on top of the hippo as if like were a horse. And I shall, I shall, I shall say, come on, fellas! Nobody questions someone on a hippo, and then That's true. I will, uh, and then I will point us in direction of palace and say, let's go, whilst taking a oh, minstrel what? hat. Fantastic. Petunia and Tiny Tim, the goblins who held on to each other, ah. jump onto the back of the hippo. Absolutely. Anybody who'd like to join right. me on the hippo, uh, wait. Uh, <laughs> Well, Profanius goblet. is approaching very fast. Goblet <laughs> is is on Wrench's shoulder, and uh, Countess Bang and Snot are still like making decisions. Okay, no. let's get Profanius. Let's get moving. Profanius has taken a minstrel's hat, and I will remind you he was already wearing a one foot tall hat and has stolen a conical <laughs> hat from one of the ladies in waiting. So he is now wearing three hats. You're gonna have to roll to fit through doors. 
<laughs> I already had to do that. I'm nine foot tall. <laughs> right. Let's let's head to the palace. I think post haste because I'm not entirely up for that growling noise. <laughs> You proceed in vaguely in the direction you came, you think. Uh, you just follow the uh, the more distressed looking flower beds. Um, the, yes, you head down winding paths across chuckling brooks. Um, you are making your way towards like the beam of the, the, the like beam of the, the god ray light that is shining through. The low growling stops for a minute for a minute or two, or you realize it stopped. Profaneous and Moontooth you are collectively rolling to counter the attack of uh, just a... You don't see what it is as it approaches. It's just, just a mass of fur and teeth and claws. Roll what skills you can deploy in the moment as you find yourself under this assault. So I am using hitting stuff for Bogal Karuk and being cruel for Bogal Karuk. I'm using my rusty armor and my ancient sword, so that gives me four. Fantastic. Uh, I will use a dirty great knife, light mercenary armor, no, light mercenary regiment armor, and uh, shooting stuff, because I'm going to throw the knife at it. Okay. I uh, don't have quite so many applicable things here, so I think I'm going to go for one of my scavenged items, which is sackcloth, and throw it in its face at one of the eyes. And also bring out my massive stone axe with my other hand as a kind of block slash slash. Cool. And if I could use hunting, this is a great hunt. That's two oh, successes so my end. Two successes. Three, two, oh, two. Oh, no. Okay. So what's that? Two, two, four, three. Seven altogether. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay. So... There is, um, I think, from the goblin and the uh, from the goblin and copper's perspective, there is just this overwhelming. Uh, there is just this overwhelming noise behind you, and you turn around just in time to see this great mass of grey fur disappear into a hedge on the other side of the um, other side of the trail, and um, uh, Skibbit, Profaneous, and Moontooth just kind of pick themselves up from where they had desperately defended themselves. You managed to get a cut in just before it vanished, uh, but just barely. <laughs> um, there is... Oh um, dear, that must be the cream tea you were talking about. Perhaps we should run. Oh, piss. Indeed. Yeah, all five of you, what are you doing to ensure you get out of this hedge maze before the creature bears down on you? I, I am going to uh, engage the hippo to go forwards. Fantastic. I was about to say, I want to employ the elephant to do similarly, so... Cool. We've got a fucking menagerie. I've just realised how many animals we have. Like, <laughs> dear me. I'm still we saving do. the dog. We do. we got so many animals. Yeah, you literally have two animals. You don't even oh, have yes. one. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna take up the rear mm -hmm. and kind of guard I, us. I will, I, will, I will yell yip yip on the hippo and make sure it goes forward. Uh, they can go at 30, 30 miles an hour, just so you know. I googled it. I have no animals, so I will just run towards in the same How direction as the animals. How many dice, skills, and other gubbins are people deploying, and can you roll those things, please? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sure. From, uh, from on top of Wrench's head, Goblet pulls out a bunch of uh, miscellaneous unlabeled keys, preparing to throw them in whatever direction <laughs> something comes out. So, so we have a total of uh, the the party has managed to muster four successes. Okay, so we have less successes um, than participants. Five. Um, yes, so that is a total of five successes on the beast's side. Um, uh -oh. um, well, Peter Lukey, Profaneous takes harm. I was going to say I'm taking up the rear, so it would make sense. It makes sense, absolutely. Anyway, yeah. Yep, so you, um, yeah, again, no one ever quite manages to get a full um, look at what this beast does, but, uh, what this beast is, sorry, you're well aware of what it does. Uh, uh, you manage to imbo uh, inhale a goodly lungful of this poison breath. Um, oh no! Uh, and that accounts for your harm. Um, and, but the rest of you are stumbling, all of you stumbling are nevertheless able to make it blinking and terrified into the light of day. Uh, through the gap in the hedge, and the... Um... Profaneous feels like a real hero. No, that was definitely the cream tea they talk about. I'll, I'll have to employ someone one day to come back and study it or skin it, or possibly both. I've fought the cream tea, and I've survived. 
yeah, I think you guys ha- you guys have exited the you've exited the garden at speed with a few minor injuries. Um, goblins, your kitchen senses are tingling. Ahem, ahem. Your new countess would like you to know food is that way. Aha, we shall. Quite a good me- method of infiltrating. <laughs> I think we should follow the goblins. Yes. They've, they've been only good to us. Go on, little goblins. Lead us to the kitchen. Four orcs, five goblins, one short and an elephant. Um, meander round the... Uh, yeah, sneak quietly round the back um, of the castle. I say that the um, the kitchens are going to be... It's, it, it's still like a double-door entrance, but it's um, much more hustling and bustling. What are three, th- uh, three extravagant dishes that the... Uh, coronation <laughs> feast will be serving up. Um, uh, chicken double souffle. It's a chicken souffle inside another souffle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Chicken souffle sounds horrible. It does. I feel there's probably a wedding cake. Like it's not a wedding, but the prince just likes wedding cake, so there's a wedding cake. Fantastic. There is. There is a. There is a like a a statue of the prince made of spun sugar. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This prince has a sweet tooth. Um, the and a misplaced sense of propriety. And a chicken tooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. You guys um, barrel through to the. Yeah. You guys kind of. You guys kind of saunter into the kitchens in your customary orc um, non orc nonchalance that passes for stealth. May and I, may the... I a quick note here, and I will just say because I have run out of uses of hippo, I will say that I have released them. Gently into the gardens where they will probably into a pool and then continue with the action. What, Bertram? Bertram. Bertram is no longer with us, but that is because he's off somewhere Aww. else being quite happy. Bye, Bertram. Yeah, so this place is a wash with is a wash with activity. There is definitely like an entire there are, there are, there's like at least three pigs roasting on the same spit above the fire. Yes. Uh what would you guys like to do? Find the rawest looking thing in the room and eat it. That would be a living human. That'll do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, uh, a rare One animal. One of my drives is to eat a rare animal. So a uh, chef is surely the rarest animal of all. Before, like, if you grab the chef, I'd like to grab him at the same time, and then we'll kind of share a moment of like slightly awkward, like because oh, we're close awkward. to each other. We do do, do a Before... lady in the tramp. You start <laughs> one arm, I start the other, and we meet in the middle. <laughs> Because you two are leaning together and Goblet is leaning back and away like uh Okay, so there's there's um so yeah, okay, there's so one of you one of you is trying to start like a la- like locking eyes and trying to start a lady in the tramp thing. Um so this poor chef is being manhandled by two orcs, one of which is sucking on her fingers, the other of which is trying to engage her in conversation. Um it's a weird rendition of good cop bad cop, but um yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap like nod to Moontooth for a moment and just be like to the chef, right, right. Now it's very simple. You need to tell me where the prince is, or my friend here will eat you. Goblet. <laughs> um, That's right, goblet. They just kind of go. I <laughs> do a combination of terror and outrage because they're used to being in control of their kitchen, and this is really throwing them for a loop. And um, they, they they did not have this on their bingo card for today. Um, it wasn't on their plate, was it? Hey, cook hey. hey. <laughs> And um, and um, then you hear from down the um, you hear from down the corridor. Quick! I hear the sound of reckless punning, and um, the <laughs> clack 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 as a bunch of royal guard start oh, to um, run to intercept you from deeper within the castle. What are you guys doing? I, uh, I am going. I am going to shout. <laughs> Meat's back on the menu, boys! Uh, and then I am immediately. Uh, what's the menu? Uh, and then I'm immediately um, go, uh, going to. Um, I'm immediately going to get my crossbow, uh, load it with uh, the last special bolt, which I shall call my negotiating bolt, which it's um, <laughs> it's negotiating by... It's, it, it's just a big rock on a stick. Um, and ah. then I'm going to, um, I'm going to tr- attempt to infiltrate, pretending to be a waiter, by stuffing the crossbow directly into one of these double souffles, which I imagine is very deep. Um, <laughs> and not, 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 not really infiltrating, I'm just stuffing it in the top of it so it's quickly at hand, picking it up and saying, right, lads, we're waiters. And then... <laughs> And then booking it for the nearest uh, door. 
Can I just oh. say, while this has all been going on in the background, Profanius has like accidentally tripped over a chef's foot. She's short sighted, so has mistaken him for one of the sous chefs and has like berated him <laughs> and got him to get back to work. And he is now like desperately trying to saute onions with one hand while he makes a sandwich with the other <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yes, a, a, a chef's hat has been added to your increasingly high, um, uh, hat. increasingly high uh, <laughs> hat sack. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Can I scavenge? Because I have basically nothing. Absolutely. Uh, I'm go okay. It, which I uh, scavenging is a thing that I do. I roll a d6, and there are five items here which will be of use to the goblins. Uh, a selection of uh, cream pies, like a clown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cra clown's cream pies. Yeah, a bunch of knives. I'll just go for a bunch of knives. Um. Uh, May I suggest a um, like a wheelie tray that you can ride on? Oh, that is brilliant! Yeah, all right. So number three is a wheelie tray, an um, apron that says "Kiss the Cook." <laughs> <laughs> an apron says "Kiss the Cook." We need one Thank more. Uh, chili peppers. Yes. yes. The yep. longest pepper grinder. The longest <laughs> pepper grinder you've ever seen like, in your life. Like in Shrek, where they use it as pepper yes. spray. <laughs> okay, so you've got knives. You've got a selection of custard pies. You've got um, an apron that says "kiss the cook." Yeah, apron says "kiss kiss the cook." A handful of chili peppers and and the wheelie tray. Wheelie tray. There we go. Can I get a pineapple? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just because they're cool. Just, just they're because. They're kind of spiky yeah. as well. Yeah. Can I get like mm. a roasting spit? Oh yeah. Oh. There nice. is there is a uh, as I mentioned before there is a roasting spit with three pigs roasting on it. I get a roasting spit with three pigs. Fantastic. Oh, can I eat one, please? Are they three it's going to be two, picks? isn't it? Uh, they're, they're, fairly, they're fairly respectable. They're fairly respectable size. Hey, I get three picks. uses on this scavenge, so one per pick. That's fantastic. <laughs> please insert one into my mouth. That could be your first use of this No! <laughs> oh. Can I eat the cook, then? Fine. I kind uh, of assumed you already had. It's just crunching uh, I feel. I feel like... I feel, uh, no, I feel like the cook in their... Um, there are a number of quite rare animals, and I feel like the, um, the cook, yet. in their increasingly desperate insistence to let you go, um, is just kind of like throwing things at you. And they pull down off the shelf a um, yes, it is the incredibly rare gossamer wraith of the um, frozen glaciers to the north, and it has been candied. It's this very delicate kind of. It's almost like if a... It's just this very spindly exoskeleton um, that kind uh, and uh, diaphanous wings that kind of floats Ooh. on the northern breeze. Okay, well, I'm going to pocket this for later because it sounds utterly delicious because uh, oh, I have a drive, which is eat a rare animal, and that will give me two extra drives to my pool later on, and so I'm going to save it for when I really need a little bit of extra pep and shove Fantastic. the thing in my mouth then. Fantastic. Well, right. Everybody... Remember, we remember we're waiters, and this is a coronation. We're going to be moving as fast as possible, not speaking to anyone, and generally shouting food things at them. So, line up behind <laughs> me and charge. I am a chef. I, gra I grab a chicken and fall into rank. Okay, I I I don't know why I become the de facto leader, but I have now. Uh, Profanius. Profanius is just finishing up this sauce, and he's just like tasting. He goes, "Wait a second! Wait a second! Oh, sorry, just sorry. add a little bit of salt." <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm right. ready. <laughs> Take the sauce with you. Let's go. Oh no, you've got the spit, we'll haven't you? Up. <laughs> right. I know. I'm just going to shout, "Charge!" and sort of do the you know you know the cartoon run where you sort of lean all the way back and the legs just engage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight forward. <laughs> Fantastic. I have no idea which of these small discrete piles of dice is meant to be the suspicion pool, so I'm going to nominate Yay! that one! And, mm -hmm. um, we're on I a love base how this suspicion. has basically become, like, when we started this, I was picturing, you know, just kind of regular Dungeons and Dragons. Now, it's kind of become a Hanna-Barbera cartoon, which I'm full in favour of. It's very Looney Tunes. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, lo 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 Looney, Looney Tunes via anime. But yes, the, um, uh, yes, so... Uh, they are going to have hooked halberds, and they are using an orc detecting item, which means that they have somewhat an orc detecting magic item. Um, and yes, so what are you doing to just kind of? Yeah, this is a <laughs> squad roll. Because um, we're so hard to detect, you know. This is this is, is a squad roll. As oh you God. guys, what are the lot of you doing? 
I have nothing stealth wise. This is why I'm really hard. <laughs> I'll put a sackcloth I... over my head. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just use my welding mask. I'm gonna pull my welding mask down. Yeah, and I am hold holding my three pigs on a spit in front of me. Fantastic. Cool. This is just trying to bust through from a combination of momentum and excuses. Um, so yeah. you don't have to contribute anything, but of course, the more the merrier. I, I will use infiltrate, and I'm going to be honest, I'm out of stuff, so that's all I can use. <laughs> I mean, you do have you do have your you do have um, you do have your crossbow, which is currently disguised as a chicken souffle in a souffle. Oh, I know what I'll do. Ty uh, are, are they ahead of us? Yes. Right. Uh, I will engage the crossbow <laughs> within the chicken and hope that they see the bolt go flying and and shout, "Look, an assailant!" and then run in another direction. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Why right, not? That's, that's my last crossbow <laughs> use. <laughs> I'm using my my spit with three pigs on it. Fantastic. Um, to to just kind of hide us, like I'm holding it out to the side of us, and we're all like waddling along beside. And I feel like Fantastic. as we go, one one of the pigs just like slides off the end. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's pig number one Ooh. down. Ooh, that's a six, baby. Big down two to go. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, I think that their big magic um, orc detecting thing was just a dog, and um, I think the crossbow. <laughs> I, I think the I think the um, chicken laden crossbow bolt goes one way, and the dog follows it. Wonderful. Um, Excellent. What a good dog. Just a chicken and flying through the air. <laughs> absolutely, this chicken just flies across the courtyard, and the dog goes. <laughs> <laughs> after it, and um, the rest of them charge afterwards, assume, uh, giving gl uh, glorious battle cries. And they find, by the time they are able to work out that the small thing that the the small goblin-sized thing that the dog is savaging is not actually a goblin, it's too late. Um, so, so you guys proceed through. Do you still have an elephant, by the way? Oh uh, yeah, still got That's two really elephants. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh it's a prince's God. birthday. An elephant is the it's... least weird thing you're going to see in the palace. That's true. I, th I think it is still dressed up for, like, the parade it was meant to be doing, so they're like, okay, that's a thing that's going to come in handy later. Um, is it the, I suppose is it it'll the help prince's bluff. birthday, or is it his coronation? It is his coronation. Oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> it could be his birthday, too. We never asked. We do, yeah. I, yeah, we didn't ask. We're such rude guests. I like, to, I like to believe the dog saw the elephant rampaging towards it and then saw a bit of chicken and thought, you know what, that one's easier, and <laughs> just ran in the other direction. <laughs> Okay, um, the... Yes, so you guys are able to head deeper into the castle. Um, there are... Mm... Okay, give... I think we're going to have a montage of you guys, um, you guys kind of looking through various rooms for the prince, because you don't entirely know, uh, where he is. What are three... What, what is happening in the three rooms that you guys disturb? <laughs> in this montage, um, uh, Ooh. Ooh. there is a man. There is a man trying to steal an ashtray. He's heard. He's he's, <laughs> he's heard that every time he'd go to a palace, he'd steal an ashtray. And by gosh, is he trying to steal an ashtray? He is. He is unfortunately having the small issue that it is currently glued to a. It is glued to a table. There's a uh, a half dressed minstrel uh, desperately explaining to the orchestra leader about um a. a wild story about hippos and elephants and being dragged <laughs> across on a boat and the orchestra structure is just like uh, the conductors just stand there like shaking their heads just like tutting and you know being like i don't want to hear your excuses where did your uniform go i told you it was the elephants elephants a... <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, can i suggest the third room <laughs> oh yeah go for it yay uh, third room there is a monk who is clearly resident in the palace's i don't know temporary temple or whatever and he is currently drawing a lewd illustrations in his manuscript from quickly slams the book shut as we all come in <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice yep i think he the abbot walks in monk shows the abbot the lewd illustration and the um abbot nods nods sagely um, <laughs> you, uh, you see there is a curled there is a there's a spiral uh, there is a curling kind of spiral staircase up to a tower there is you kn which is off limits you know there's off you know that it's off limits because there is a palace guard standing in front of it with a shield on the shield uh, onto the shield 
has been um, stuck a uh, handwritten paper sign saying off limits except to the prince and his personal staff. Can anyone read? <laughs> yes. No. I can, I can read a little bit. <laughs> uh, which, yeah, I, th I think you start deciphering this, but then the... Um, but then the unreasonably long um, awareness timer times out above the guard's head, and he starts, uh, and he shouts, Stop! You shall not! Uh, shop, stop! You fiends, you shall not pass to this tower where the prince definitely is! I am ascertaining that for certain! Guards! I help! I would like to fire my uh, electro gun thing at him to turn him inside out, please. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, fabulous. I constantly forget you have this thing. This yeah. is my, I've not been using it. It's my last use of it. After that, oh. I'm on to Serena's electro sword. Fantastic. Um. Yep. There's as 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 he shouts, there is um, an immediate chunk, 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 and some more guards start um, charging down the corridor towards you. Um, so yes, this is uh, what, what what else are you contributing to this role, Matt? So um, it is my electro. The last use is my electro lodestone powered railgun, which is one. Then shooting stuff is one of my skills, as is knowing about machines. Fantastic. Um, so I think I will do those. Those three. Um, uh, I would like to. I would like to state that this is a cunning plan. Yep. Ready. Okay. That is. Uh, <laughs> that is one success, Mr. Dungeon Master. Mr. Dungeon the Electro Master, Lodestone sir? Gun is not that good anymore. That is three Explosive. successes. Oh dear! I took. I. Uh, I think it got wet. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. I, I. I think the assault. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you go to fire this gun, but something shorts, and there's a moment where the two, uh, where both the, uh, the guard and you just kind of look at this instrument, and then it fires off and shoots you backwards across the hallway, and you take ah. two. You take two wounds as you crash into the stone. Um, Goblet. The other guards were. Um. The other guards. Sorry, the guard was um, thankfully well hidden behind his heavy, like tower shield type thing. Fair. I would just, I would just like it noted that I've taken four out of five damage, so I am on dying. No, <laughs> no, um, no. Yeah, I Wrench. am in danger. No. <laughs> Can I grasp your face again? Oh, <laughs> 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 they have another weirdly tender moment. There's like dramatic romantic music playing. Cool. The wind is blowing through their hair. These Many guns. guards are approaching you. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that. The wind is blowing through their hair, Jacob. Give them the a wind moment. is blowing through their hair. They take their helmets off in deference of the moment where the wind blows through their hair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. I would like to hit some guards. Fantastic. I would like to use my mayhem, please. Ooh. Oh, okay, let's do that. What What's is your it? mayhem? My mayhem is called In the Midst. So what I would like to do is get in the midst of them and cause some mayhem. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, you are going to be availed, availing of eight dice. Okay, that's good. Um, I think what, I, uh, what, what Sergeant Skibbit is going to do, because he does have one use of an item left, he's going to use his light mercenary regi uh, regimental armor and lob it at them. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice. As an improvised weapon. Um, Fantastic. I like the idea that you're kind of Captain America frisbeeing a breastplate at them. Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, while shouting uh, varying uh, litig... No, not litigious. Uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, um, uh, it begins with an L. Libelous. Uh, no, libelous. I like the idea of litigious. <laughs> <laughs> libelous claims of one another. So if for this, I, I'm not, let's not count this as infiltrated. This is not infiltrated. Oh wow! Uh, that's so. That's two successes so far. I need to roll five more dice. Oh, that's a failure. That's that was three successes, and I rolled nine dice. Fantastic! Oh I rolled six success. I rolled six die on got two successes. So we're having exactly the same ratio here right now. Um, uh -huh. That is um, yeah. So that is they take one morale hit as a. Um, I'll sue you for damages. I'll sue you for damages. <laughs> you... <laughs> I'll sue you because your hair is weird. <laughs> your restaurant gave me food poisoning. Do you know who my lawyer is? I mean, I don't. I don't. Like, this is oh, definitely knowing about human stuff, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what, being uh, litigious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you should get an extra die for knowing about human stuff. Yes. Yeah, you are, you are, of course, there is a melee. 
in in the, in the middle of this hallway as various people uh, retreat under the I can't afford the fees. Um, but um, uh, there, 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 now you turn and back the way you came. There is a uh, there is a very sheepish looking dog still kind of chowing down on one last remaining chicken leg. Um, uh, and and behind him are several other palace guard. What's everyone else doing? Uh, Goblet had been as always by Wrench's side. Mm-hmm. His trusty assistant. Um, and Goblet uh, sort of like, yeah, sort of slides off the shoulders from where uh, our poor Wrench is slumped against the wall and uh, takes Moontooth's hand and guides it towards uh, Wrench's chest and looks Moontooth in the eye and says, Goblet. For, for <laughs> freedom, you. can I... Can I quickly just hand, like, as Goblet, Goblet arrives, can I just give Goblet, like, my prized screwdriver from the bag of tools and be just like, this is yours now, Goblet. Goblet's like, <laughs> Goblet! Goblet, Goblet! <laughs> and then Goblet uh, turns to the other goblins and yells like a war cry of, Goblet! <laughs> and Fantastic. out comes the wheelie tray. And as tiny uh, and as Goblet gets ready to push the tray, the other goblins get on board with, uh, let's see, uh, Snot has a knife and Petunia has a custard pie, <laughs> and Bang has chip. gravitas. Well, a dress. <laughs> gravitas. <laughs> Bang is a countess. Bang has gravitas, and um, whoever's left, or someone else left, has a has chili peppers. Fantastic. Uh, and. Goblet with a yell of Goblet! The, yeah, yeah. towards the, the, the group of guards in uh, angry defiance that their favourite orc is so badly injured. Roll that Aww. number of die. <laughs> I love the goblins so much. <laughs> that is three successes and two failures. That is one success on my part. <laughs> so you inflict two morale damage as the... Um, Yep, at least one. Yep, one guard gets taken out by custard pie straight to the mush, which um, make he stumbles back and uh, tumbles down tumbles down the stairs, causing a pile up. Um, another uh, one. Sorry, a pile up. A pile Whee! up. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next. Um, yeah. uh, and and another guard is just kind of tr- uh, is is. Um, Oh, he's clothes like he's clothes lined by a wheelie trolley, um, nice. and yeah, also goes down. And just again, you've got two melees. You've got one guard who is really going to be, give these give these guys a one star review on um, on Yelp. Um, <laughs> once once this is all over, uh, a bit in front of the stairs up towards the prince's tower. So is so sorry. There is someone between us and the tower still. Oh, absolutely. There's just this guy behind a tower shield who is waiting for assistance. So he's still kind of waiting. Hmm. Gonna hit him with my pig stick. Nope, that's a bad word. <laughs> that, that sounds awful. Regrets. Wow. Instant regrets. Porcine yep. spear. Gonna hit him with my porcine spear. That is one success. Fantastic. Um, oh dear. Okay, so this is just one dude, but he does have elite armor and a big ass shield in fiction. Uh, and I'm going to take one off the suspicion because it's mighty suspicious that someone is trying to shank him with multiple pigs. Um, no. uh, that was two successes that I got. This guy is fucking coming for you guys. You try to drive the spear at him, but he blocks it aside and is able to give a uh, and is able to give. A, um, give you a quick poke with his gladius um, and he's like guys I can't hold this forever um, so you have taken one wound I'm now smashed oh dear. Oh. <laughs> I um, didn't even drink anything oh step out of the way young'uns <laughs> okay, let me show you how you do it right I'm going to get on my elephant and I'm going <laughs> to how oh, big yeah. are these <laughs> I just keep forgetting about the this elephant this going down and, How do we uh, forget the elephant every time? He's been right here the whole time, you know. And Thank God it's got big corridors in this palace. Yeah, yeah it's weird that they designed it like this. You know what? I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna actually. I'll, I'll swap out the hunting bow for the massive stone axe because I don't think I could wield the hunting bow single-handed because the other arm needs to cradle the pineapple. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be God. use of the pineapple more as an intimidation tactic than anything else because I've never yep. seen such a spiky, offensive sort of fruit in my life. So I, I think a human might be scared. So I'm trying to combine here maybe being spooky 
or hunting, or both, if you'll give me that. Uh, I think you're only used to one, use one skill at a time, so we'll ah. go for I'm hunting. Gonna go, uh, I was going to go for spooky, because I'm holding the Fine. pineapple. Fantastic. Yep. Well, yep. maybe yep. I think I'm being spooky, but I'm actually hunting. Anyway, uh, stone axe, that's another one, and elephants, that's the third. Cool. All right, come on, dice. Be nice. Oh, they were not nice. That's one success. That is two successes. This guy this is guy. fucking Damn holding it. the line. Thought I was going to, um, at this juncture, uh, Wrench has only one thing. Like, he is, he is dying. He's not no, particularly Wrench, well. He's, no, I'm going to get to He's him handed now. over his screwdriver no. to... No, what, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, seeing this freaking tower shield fella, who's, um, who's our one barrier between us and the end of our mission... Wrench is going to stand up and he's going to draw Serena Winchester's like gigantic electro sword yep. that he nicked. It's going to thrum in his hand and he's going to like he's going to look at Moontooth like as a kind of nod as if to be like if only it were different would that it were so simple <laughs> kind of thing. Oh. And then he's just going to like charge like with the electro sword just like Fantastic. and try and take out the um the tower shield fella. Fantastic. Um, so that is going to be uh, using awesome technology, which is one of my drives, mm -hmm. and it is the piece of equipment, which is the power sword. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. It is one success. No, no, it's oh, not. God. That's dead good, I yell. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Two successes. Okay, that, uh, is, that is counted good. by one success. <laughs> ha! Yes! <laughs> This Yay. fucker finally goes down. Um, as yeah, you just yeah, you you, you just power over him. Um, <laughs> Actually, may, may I suggest? Sorry, just for sizzle. Yeah. I kind of I charge in slow motion. You're expecting like an awesome kind of final charge, and then what wrench actually does is arrives, stands about um, like four foot in front of him. They both stare at each other for a minute, and then he just very gently taps him with the electro sword. And electricity just courses through the man's tower shield, and his um, yes. and his like armor just keels over to the side. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, no, ah! there, there is now there is now one smoking there, there is now one smoking hot guard. Um, oh yeah, slumped against the corner of the spiral slumped against the foot of the spiral staircase, and uh, the lot of you are variously able to disentangle yourself from uh, your melees and um, power up the uh, power up the stairs with assor with assorted disgruntled um, royal guards hot on your heels. to the top of the um what's the word Power. that's the one it opens out actually you were expecting like lots of um rooms and complex like you know bedrooms and studies and dressing rooms and whatnot but you come out straight on to the open air uh, it's a flat space and it's got this kind of it's been built out there are like these kind of wooden hoardings which expand the range of the tower past its original and there are these um it's almost constructed like a chinese lantern you've got these big brass buttresses which build out from uh like a story or so below you and up ahead into a nexus depending down from them on chains is a big old structure which itself kind of balloons out it, um a brass frame which resembles actually it resembles a bigger like ornate crown um like crown jewels type style except of being lined with velvet it's crackling with um it's crackling with eldritch power um and there is a ring of figures around it in fancy um noble yeah, fancy noble robes who are kneeling and chanting, and in the center is a um, and in the center is the diminutive figure of the uh, of Prince Holstein, who is um, standing beneath the apex of this um, this apparatus um, as it lowers down over him, and there's this kind of as it starts to power up, and he shows, finally, 
Finally, I shall be crowned as own as no one before has been crowned. And um, uh, there is a <laughs> and um, from a uh, a parallel staircase on the other side of the There's tower. There's a seal. There's a seal um, of approval. <laughs> Uh, emerges a cluster of um, notable individuals with complementary power sets. There is, um, there, 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 there is the uh, form of Serena Winchester. She has managed to unstick her top half, but not her lower half. She is wielding, Stopping and she boys. has basically mantling herself along on her wheelbarrow, this creaky wheel, with basically what amounts to a pair of really steampunk ski poles. Um, Stop waves. <laughs> There is a he, uh, she 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 tries to blow a kiss, but she bonks herself on the forehead with a um with, with, from the ski poles. Um, it's not that, still pretends to catch it. <laughs> the um that is uh the uh graceful form of the the graceful form of the elven general who looks really really non really nonplussed uh about how this day has gone with her graceful elven longsword and her faithful. Moon cat. There is the um. There's the captain. There's the captain of the yeah. city guard who is seriously so fucking tired right now. Um, <laughs> and the um and the portly, well-meaning uh uh priest of Sola springing up the rear. The um Serena uh waves to uh, Serena waves to you and goes. Turns out we were going in the same direction all along. This would have been much more convenient if we combined resources sooner. And um, Prince Holstein goes, You shall not stop me now. Yes, the chef and the zookeeper are also there. Um, <laughs> the, and well, the, the zookeeper has brought the promised elephant parsnip. Absolutely, thing. absolutely. Um, Glowing with a parsnip coloured light. Yes, indeed. It, uh, <laughs> the... Um, Yes, and the, 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 the prince um, looks between these two groups, groups which have come for him and um, laughs and uh, Eldritch Lightning crackles out towards the assorted um, worshippers at his feet who um, start juddering and jerking like they're in stop-motion animation and they turn up and, and are round on you guys, heading uh, round on you guys with um, Eldritch Lightning crackling out from their... Um, uh, oh, crackling out from their the hands and their eyes the and their feet. Um, <laughs> what are people doing about this? I I um, would like to raise my my new sacred parsnip mm -hmm. in full view of the sacred elephant. Yeah. And command the elephant in the name of Bogal Karuk, who now embodies it. Or put, hang on, who it now embodies. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Words are hard, guys. Um, to charge these heathens and save us all in the name uh, of Bogal Karuk. So I will be using a, a sacred parsnip, being cruel for Bogal Karuk. Yep. Uh, to prove the supremacy of Bogal Karuk. Absolutely. Okay, so that's three. Oh, piss. Well, it's two successes. Fantastic. That is three successes. Uh oh. Yeah, you, you, yeah. The elephant starts to. The elephant does start to charge forward, and um, the elephant does start to charge forward. But a lance of lightning uh, streaks uh, out actually through the um, through the stone and um, cor uh, corrosates up through your armor, and you take a po uh, you take a wound. Oh, no. No one oh, want to no. give me a that's dead good. Oh, I'm out of You're competing with three successes. That's yeah. Okay. I'm mangled now. <laughs> the elephant has trodden on me. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the other side. I think it sent, it did send a couple guys flying, but um, mm. be more significant for our perspective. Um, yes. Uh, that's a thing that has happened. Who is next? I go moon tooth. I could do with a long loving look. Goblet is just like absolutely furious, like goblet, 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 like pointing at wrench when you say that, <laughs> like giving you a little goblet rat, like goblet, 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 goblet. Medicinal long loving look. Uh, uh, okay, right. I have <laughs> one item left, and I, it might take a bit of a concerted effort to work out what to do. I only have one use of light mercenary regimented armor, so I must assume that is one of my boots. 
<laughs> Does anybody have anything that can pro propel my boot at high speed or a goblin that's willing to give up their life? <laughs> you can take my dog. Dogs love sh shoes. The <gasps> Nash Hound. Ah, yes, we'll fetch. say... Yes, we'll shout fetch. Right, who... I need I need someone strong. I, I know how we'll make this easier. Whoever's very strong, throw me as well as the boot. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Moontooth? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know how trained your your Nash Hound is, but we shall... Not very. Well, let's... I'll, I'll, I'll make him sniff the boot, and then I'm going to huck mm -hmm. the boot, and I shall call this shooting stuff. And I'll even bring it in, considering where I'm aiming, I'm going to consider it knowing about human stuff as well. Uh, not, that I'll get the, not that I'll get the extra dice. Um, All right. And, uh, and, and we'll use the Nash Hound, and we'll hope to hit him directly in the Nadgers. Fantastic. Sounds good to me. <laughs> in the Eldritch Nadgers. The Eldritch yep. Nadgers. Oh, two successes. Go me. And let um, me roll the dog. Can... Roll. Huh? Let me roll the dog. Yep, roll, roll the dog, please. <laughs> Success. Uh, versus two successes. Yep. Yep, two of the uh, two of the stop motion courtiers approach um, and are uh, knocked to the floor as a boot sails between them and a large dog crashes past them. Um, yeah, large dog crashes past them. The um, he makes contact with an outer plate of the ritual circle, which electrocutes him spectacularly. Um, but that just causes the dog to leap forward. Um, leap forward into the um, rungs of the crown cage and um, it is a very spectacular explosion as a couple of the um, struts kind of short out um, the, uh, okay. the dog then runs back out smoking and going oh, 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 to join his royal counterpart and commiserate over mm. chicken um, oh, the, oh, um, he's made okay, a well, uh, just if no one minds me going next no, uh, I nope. I happen to be in possession of an electric sword. Indeed. And there's oh, a lot really, of electric you haven't mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, I've just in case anyone had forgotten, <laughs> I happen to have an electric sword. So what I would like to do is I'm gonna Ghostbusters this. Oh god. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cross the streams. Fantastic. So I'm basically gonna take up a stance, like legs apart, kinda I'm like aiming the electric sword. I'll cast a look at Serena, uh, I keep wanting to say Serena Williams. Serena, Serena Winchester. Winchester. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is now my Serena face Serena Williams is yeah, it? I, yeah, I like, since she was introduced, I've been picturing Serena Williams like, um, in yeah, a suit of it. armor. It's a really my odd image. Cast. I yeah. would see a film um, where she played like a, an alchemical mechanizer. Yeah, <laughs> it's basically Serena Williams with like a pair of specs is what I'm seeing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to throw a look at Serena Winchester as if to be like, will this work? Um, she and my she shrugs. Is, yeah, I shrug back like fuck, we're inventors. We're on the same like we'll see what happens. <laughs> and I'm just gonna basically try and like send a charge of electricity through it yep. at um at kind of the, the crown cage and just see if my, my goal is to just is to try and blow a fuse basically, just to overblow this thing and see if I can short out some of the some of the stuff in it, overpower it and try and just interrupt it by overpowering it fantastic give me this could have the reverse effect and it might make it work better but hopefully it'll damage it yep so wrench is going for ghostbusters and he has rolled two successes counted by two successes oh. um goblet yells gob goblet which means that's <laughs> dead good Fantastic. Hey! <laughs> a nod oh, at Gobbler as if, like, I'm so proud of you, little guy. Uh, would you like to give us a reroll, please? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha Four successes. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Two things <laughs> happen. One, uh, the, um, yeah, these kind of lines of blue and green lightning kind of war with each other for a moment. It's desperately unfashionable. Miranda Priest would just despise this. Uh, Miranda Priestley, sorry. And, I was going to say, who? Well, in this um, world, it's Miranda Priest. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's 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 the one. That's the one. Um, that, uh, she, she comes up the stairs just afterwards and goes, Lovecraft for a finale, groundbreaking. And the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, the light, uh, the, the the blue lightning winds out and fires up into the nexus of the cage, and um, the chain connecting it to the outer 
um, kind of Chinese lantern set up. Um, it kind of overloads and explodes. Two things happen because of that. The first is that there are only uh, only two more successes are needed to win this. So yeah, a lot of that um, kind of grounds back into Prince Holstein, who screams in a combination and a mixture of pain and ecstasy. Um, I don't know who's still. We up. don't need to know what he's into. Goblins <laughs> and goblins, moon tooth. I- Goblins, you got anything good? Because I've got something I can do. The goblins never have anything good. The goblins have, I've got a list of stuff and they're going to chuck it somewhere. You know what I mean. It's always good. <laughs> they have All a right. lot of stuff. Well then, I think I'm going to unleash the beast, which is my mayhem. Fantastic. <gasps> yes! What a mayhem. fucking mayhem. Uh, You have eight die to play with. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. That's all the dice on my table. What, what is your mayhem? Unleash the beast. Is that, oh, it's just called Unleash the yeah, beast. Yeah, I think I just go okay. feral, basically. Fantastic. Cool. Kind of just starts salivating and the You turn into a, a Nash and... hound. Turn into a Nash hound. You try to eat the prince. <laughs> you don't turn into a Nash hound. You, turn in, you don't turn into a Nash hound. You turn into a Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever right. that is. Dice Foley. Dice Foley. Sorry, Matt. That's a lot of dice Foley. Right, just here we a, go. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of dice. Okay, uh, that's one, two... Three, four successes, which was not the best roll out of eight, but hey, I'll take it. Um, I mean, it's exactly what you'd expect with a 50% success rate. That is this countered is point. by one success. <gasps> oh. So, uh, yeah, H, take us away. Right. I start salivating. My eyes go yellow. Let's go with yellow. I like yellow. And I just briefly glance at Wrench, who is still dying, and <coughs> just lose it. And just basically... <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of ripping. I don't, I don't want to make this too, you know, uh, 18 plus, but there's a lot of ripping. There's a lot there's of ripping. Things flying there's around. a lot of tearing. <laughs> I feel that the um, I feel that the, the combined efforts of your allies have like shorted <laughs> out a couple cable, uh, shorted out a couple of the um, things. So you're able to actually like you're able to get your um, get your increasingly hairy uh, hands onto a pair of these um, these straps and just kind of rip them over by um, main force. And push oh, well, your way yeah. in. Um, your thunder bear cloak is standing on end. Uh, your um, uh, yeah, the lightning is bouncing off you and sinking into you, but it's not taking purchase. And you uh, pick up the you bodily pick up the prince. There is a uh, big flash of there is a flash of green light and a scream and a very organic wet grizzly sound. Um, and then I think we're going to cut away to the epilogue. Um, hey. I just say, can I just say, while H was doing all that, Ooh. the rest of us were like sitting in the background eating the last pig. Uh, no, <laughs> just, like, I, I think watching at least them one go for it. Was trying like... to patch up wrench as well because otherwise he'll die at the end of the scene. I mean, in my in my mind, I'm picturing like at the like he's kind of there being tended to by the goblins. Yeah. And then at some point after, I don't know what the epilogue is, but at some point I'm picturing kind of Moontooth just walking over like Victorious. Just like, covered pick- head to toe in blood. Yeah, yeah, like picking Wrench up and carrying him Oh, bridal carry. Yeah. yeah, kind of be like, you're safe now. It's An okay, officer and a gentleman bit. style. Yeah, the exactly. That's... Are, like applauding. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, well, save that, yeah. save that energy for the point when it happens in the narrative. Um, okay. Cool. Sorry. There is yep. a... Um, yeah, I think we, I think we actually, I think we actually cut away uh, from mm-hmm. the from the light and fury. So there's a brief cut back to the various orcs with dark glasses on, um, just eating handfuls of roast pork like it's popcorn. Um, and the <laughs> um, yeah, and then we cut away to the big tower, which uh, there's just kind of this um, there's this kind of lightning, there's this light and lightning show, and then the frame of the uh, lantern and the hoarding breaks away and crashes down and then there's a moment of silence as people pick themselves as people pick themselves up um, the uh, various um, the few courtiers who haven't been utterly fried are picking themselves up and looking confused and uh, uh, Serena and the other adventurers um stand up and they look over at um yeah what 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 you guys are doing well i pick up wrench bridal style Mm -hmm. our blood streams (laughs) off my face and i whisper (laughs) we did it 
You're safe now. Um, I'm gonna with one hand. I'm gonna reach out to caress Moontooth's face in the same way Moontooth caressed my face a few hours ago. Oh. Uh, no. But with my other hand, which still has the electro sword, I'm gonna just like gently slide it across the room towards Serena Winchester and just be like, "You can have it back. Yep. Like you earn my respect." Fantastic. You know? <laughs> I Lovely. think that um, I, I, I I think that at this stage um, there's a clank 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 as the remainder of the royal guard power up the stairs towards you and um, the <laughs> and uh, they're about to charge they're about to charge you but Serena um, uh, but Serena is actually going to use the last charge of the sword to get their attention by just firing it off and it kind of. <laughs> Um, they look over and Serena kind of goes, you know, stand down and they part, uh, they part ways and they allow you people to depart in peace, if not necessarily in quiet. Um, the, um, the (laughs) snot stays behind with Serena. Magnificent. Um, the... Snot carries Serena out. (laughs) 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 Well, in the wheelchair, like. Wheelbarrow to wheelbarrow to out. Absolutely. The um, I think there is a uh, the elf general is about to protest at this, but the very tired guard captain just puts a hand on them. Uh, just puts a hand on them. Goes, you know what? Just leave it. There'll be <laughs> other fights. Um, there'll <laughs> be other fights. Countess Bang goes over to introduce herself to the uh, very becoming. Fantastic. <laughs> um, the uh, let's 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 just go into ep- let's just go into epilogue mode. You know, um, yep. I think uh, Profanius. What do what does the what does the near future look like for you? So I assume you know we wake make our way back to the orc camp and have to explain that the prince is dead. <laughs> but will we you can't. be taking the sacred elephant with you? Yes, I will have to take the sacred elephant with me. Um, the zookeeper is going to protest, but I'm just going to stare at him until he wets himself and runs away. Fantastic. <laughs> and I, I ride my sacred elephant home. I need to think of a name for her now. Um... Root. Yes, Root. She her is, name is Root. She is Root. Um... And I, I think Profanius has really been inspired by his two minutes in the kitchen as a chef. <laughs> and uh, has decided mm-hmm. that he would like to just master the art of parsnip cooking to honour Bulgal Karuk. So he uh, he opens a little parsnip restaurant with uh, with Root the a Elephant. Partisserie. Hey, hey. his partisserie. Hey. Um, so you know everyone always gathers there for a nice bowl of parsnip soup and a a mug of parsnip juice and a parsnip souffle or a parsnip mousse. Fantastic! Um, it's all very disgusting. Yeah, the hmm. um, the 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 parsnip the parsnip mooses keep goring people. Is it's it very a distressing. Experience? Um, yes. <laughs> um, skip it. What does your near future look like? Well, well, considering that I can now freely move among the humans, for I have been granted a special license. I will combine. Are you now, sir, skip it. So, yeah, uh, potentially. <laughs> So let's give it, and I <laughs> shall combine my skills of infiltrated shooting stuff and knowing about the humans to open a coconut shy. <laughs> <laughs> I shall open a coconut shy that opens at ridiculous hours in the morning, uh, sort of 6 a.m. onwards. Doesn't, uh, uh, has one coconut. And, <laughs> um, and it's actually quite gregarious, it catches people by surprise. Yeah, it's oh yeah, yeah and, and it's it's also open all year round. It, it it doesn't care about marketplaces or you know any of these festival things. It's just an all year coconut shy. <laughs> Fantastic. And you be happier. Uh, and occasionally uh, he goes and visits the hippo. I love it. I love it. Um, the who has defeated the palace monster? Yeah. <laughs> And taken charge. Yeah. Hippos are badass guys. Oh yeah. Um, uh, goblins. Miscellaneous goblins. They're not miscellaneous anymore. Uh, no. So uh, Countess Bang um, takes up her role in court exceptionally well. She's beloved by all, and somehow man just a bag and elf. Um, <laughs> everyone is confused, but not surprised because we all know how alluring these goblins can be. Um, Snot, uh, just something about Snot and Serena, 
just, you know, sort of get closer and closer in their relationship. It's never really anything serious, but it's, you know, they're there for each other. Passionate. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not, not so much a whirlwind romance as a hurricane. Yeah. Petunia and yeah. Tiny Tim set up a petition and get in the centre of the city a statue put up um, to commemorate Stinky Pete, Brain and Stab, who were the goblins we lost on this mission. Um, so there is a statue for the goblins in the centre of the city set up by Petunia and Tiny Tim. And uh, Goblet continues to work as Wrench's assistant and his best man at the wedding. Speaking yeah, of which... Say... <laughs> does the Goblet, ne does Goblet never, vi never visit his... Did he marry a woman or a man by accident? I don't think we know. Oh, I, 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 I think I, I got the impression uh, from Jacob's description that he meant it to be a woman. But uh, goblins don't really understand gender, so... Yeah, I've, I've forgotten, so... Goblet has a spouse. Goblet has a spouse. <laughs> Who is invited of to the course. wedding? They are, they are always just out of shot, so we never actually have to decide. Yeah, we never know. Um, yeah, the wedding is beautiful. Uh, there's much technology, but also much tradition. Oh, yeah. Um, Gobbit is the best goblin and the ring bearer. <laughs> we had to squeeze him because he ate the rings, but they came back out again in one piece, so it's all yeah, right. It works, yeah. Prof <laughs> Profanius performs the ceremony and caters. He makes an enormous parsnip cake. Yep. Excellent, and... Uh... We ride and off they... on the elephant, because I've got one. Yeah, we ride off <laughs> on the elephant. Yeah, I was wondering when we get to that. We remember the elephant, guys! Yay! <laughs> the elephant and the groom. Fantastic. Yay! Um, Fabulous. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was one hell of an adventure we just went on, but not to worry. We'll be back next week with a brand new game and story for you, so be sure to listen in to find out what we have in store. But until then, thank you for listening to Diacast. If you'd like to keep up to date with episodes and announcements, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Diacast and on Instagram at DiacastPod and subscribe to us on your favourite podcatcher. And hey, if you enjoyed listening to us, maybe consider giving us a rating or review or sharing us with a friend. We'd really love that. Diacast is Lukey Slip, Matt George Lovett, Jacob Wall, Helen, Peter Wellman and H. Folkmans. Our logo and banner art are by H. Folkmans. The Diacast theme and Havoc Brigade variation are composed and performed by Matt George Lovett, who also edited this episode. Our game this week was Havoc Brigade by Grant Howitt, a link to which can be found in the episode description along with our individual social media information. And until next week, that's how the die are cast. <laughs>